Good morning. Thank you for attending my honors uh, project poster presentation. My project is titled Adapting Navigation Algorithms for Off-Road Autonomous Vehicles. A bit of context. Autonomous vehicles offer a wide variety of benefits for transportation in general, including increased efficiency, lower costs, and wider access to transportation. These benefits are particularly important in the context of automating military vehicles. Autonomous military vehicles hold additional benefits in terms of both safety and increased combat performance. They improve safety by reducing the number of soldiers that need to be exposed to potentially hostile environments during non-combat operations, such as reconnaissance or resupply. By reducing the number of soldiers that are required to operate in line of enemy fire while not involved in combat operations, autonomous vehicles can help militaries reduce casualties and better marshal their human resources, which in turn makes the soldier's life safer and the military is more effective. Additionally, as autonomous vehicles become increasingly intelligent and connected, they can integrate information from a variety of digital sources, including onboard sensors, uh, GPS and satellite data, information from other vehicles and communication with the central command center. All of these sources of information can be integrated in real time to enable better decision-making on the battlefield than a traditional human driver with his five senses could achieve. A critical element of providing these autonomous capabilities are path planning algorithms that select a vehicle's trajectory towards an objective. These algorithms must consider obstacle avoidance, path optimization, that is selecting an optimal path that takes as little time as possible, and must also account for safety, make, keeping the vehicle safe, and the limits on onboard computation because hardware for computation and processing on embedded vehicles is much more limited. A class of algorithms called reachability-based trajectory design developed at the University of Michigan offers a promising approach for mathematically provable safe navigation algorithms. However, the current implementations of this strategy do not account for the unique dynamics that off-road vehicles are subjected to by terrain variations as well as interaction of the tires with different soil types. The work, my work in this honors project is to adapt reachability-based trajectory design algorithms to these off-road applications. I aim to extend the mathematically provable safety guarantees offered by RTD to be compatible with more complex dynamic models that capture the behavior of off-road vehicles working in unknown areas. We, I will work to factor in effects of terrain gradients, tire soil interactions, while also considering real-time processing power needs. For a bit more context, um, I will talk a little bit about reachability-based trajectory design. Reachability-based trajectory design, or RTD, leverages a construct called the forward reachable set. Described simply, a forward reachable set describes the set of states that any system could reach given a starting set of states and a time horizon over which the planning is conducted. For example, a vehicle traveling at a certain speed could have a forward reachable set which describes all the, all the areas that the vehicle could reach with different combinations of throttle and steering input within the next one second. The definition of this FRS is such that it contains all the points the vehicle could possibly reach. And that forms the basis of the safety guarantees offered by RT. The computation of this FRS is a complex task and is at the core of my work. To compute FRSs in our application, we consider these three criteria that are unique to our specific application. The first is the capability to work with nonlinear vehicle dynamics. This is important because the off-road application we work with entails effects of terrain, tire soil interactions, and a high fidelity vehicle model that is not captured by simplified linear models. We also wish to maintain the safety guarantees provided by RTD, which are formally termed not at fault navigation. What this means is that in the case of static obstacles or obstacles that do not move, the RTD algorithm will never select a trajectory that collides with the obstacles. And for dynamic obstacles or obstacles that move on their own accord, RTD will never select a trajectory that itself enters into a collision course with another obstacle. This is important because mathematically provable safety uh, is crucial for the end customers, uh, which is militaries, to ensure safety of the vehicle and uh, make sure that the full advantages of autonomy are realized. Further, we pay specific attention to computational efficiency at runtime. This is again because uh, 
autonomous vehicles have limited capacity for computational hardware to be embedded and therefore uh, excessive computational complexity becomes unfeasible for autonomous vehicles, even if these calculations could easily be performed on uh, a dedicated computer system or a server or a cluster offline. The, the RTD uh, workflow or that encompasses all RTD based algorithms follows these four steps. The first step is to compute the FRS, which is itself a complex process and the focus of our work. Uh, that takes in inputs both the dynamics model as well as parameters in the form of initial states and a time horizon over which the FRS is computed. Once the FRS is computed, we then compute what's called a safe set by it, comparing the FRS with the locations of known obstacles and excluding states that are either in or too close to an obstacle. Once we have the safe states, uh, a process called trajectory parameterization or correlation, depending on the exact strategy used, can convert every point in the safe set to a corresponding trajectory, which is a path that connects it to the vehicle starting point. At this step, because of the earlier steps, we are sure that all the trajectories that are extracted from the safe set are safe. That is, a vehicle could safely follow any one of them without running a risk of colliding with an obstacle. We can then follow an optimization process over all of these trajectories to identify which one would be the most optimal for, for our application. Depending on the exact nature of the mission, this could be selecting the one that takes the least amount of time, that, uh, you know, that takes the least amount of time or gets one as close as possible to the destination uh, in the given time step. Uh, alternatively, more advanced constraints could be applied, such as avoiding rough terrain or uh, maintaining the vehicle's uh, role and your states. But all of this depends on the specific nature of the mission and selection of the optimization processes for now out of the scope of this work. Our proposed solution aims, focuses on the computation of the FRS and aims to resolve the following key issues with a lot of existing algorithms. The first, as mentioned earlier, is computational efficiency, standard computation of the forward reachable set, uh, grows in cost complexity with the exponentially with the size of the state space. Because in our application, we deal with high fidelity models, which involve lots of states, the number of computations overall quickly grows very large and potentially unfeasible. The other uh, thing that we try to focus on is assumptions of simplified dynamics. As mentioned earlier, because our application deals with complex off-road dynamics. Um, we are interested in trying to see if we can solve the problem without having to simplify or linearize, simplify the dynamics. The proposed algorithm base is based on differential geometry and tries to work around the issues of a large state space while still trying to preserve the fidelity of the trajectory planning model. The design process that we followed we considered a range of different implementations already and analyzed several of them in detail to understand uh, which ones were suitable, which ones weren't, and how we would go about modifying the RTD framework to fit this application. We but explored in particular two approaches that uh, appeared to give similar benefits to our to the approach we were considering. One is neural network based computation, which is an attempt to compute the FRS entirely based on training data gathered from a ground truth model. Uh, this reduced the computation time uh, required in real time, but didn't quite suit our needs because it depended on the availability and quality of uh, reliable training data. We also explored a divide and conquer implementation, which effectively replaces the reformulates this problem of computing a forward digital set over a large state space as an optimization, as many different optimization problems, each one over a smaller domain. Uh, this again reduces the computation required by swapping out one expensive operation for many uh, much cheaper operations, but uh, it didn't quite match what we were looking for um, because of its inability to give global guarantees. Um, we analyzed several other methods, uh, but none of them were found to be quite similar to the approach we proposed, which is why we went ahead. We are planning to go ahead with further developing the approach we identified in, over the course of this project. 
The next steps in this ongoing work will be to expand the definition of the algorithm we have already designed to higher dimensional models, uh, create an implementation in MATLAB for testing, and further develop development will follow towards eventually integrating this with the RTD structure of algorithms. Finally, I would like to thank uh, Professor Bogdan Eprano, who has provided his guidance and support throughout the course of this project and has been my primary mentor. I would also like to acknowledge the insights and inputs of Professor Tulgar Sal of the Mechanical Engineering Department, uh, as well as uh, students in his labs, Yuan and Songkai, for their guidance. Thank you once again and have a great day.